Hello everybody and welcome to another video with me, A Lot of Pink and today I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks in editing using Camtasia 8.5 It says here it's Camtasia Studio 8 but when I look at when I look at the license, it's version 8.5 by 8.5.1 so I'm assuming this is Camtasia 8.5 which I'm pretty sure that the latest version I haven't checked actually so so first of course you're gonna open your Camtasia I'm just using this recording from the previous tutorial that I did the last video that I uploaded which was three weeks ago so the first thing that you guys have been always asking me is the cursor so my cursor doesn't have those clicking sounds whenever I click because that's I can't stand to listen to it for a really long time it's just in the recording itself not my computer itself you're gonna go to cursor effects and if you can't see your cursor effects right over here you can click more and select it here and if for some reason you, can, you still can't find cursor effects you can go to tools and click cursor effects and it will open the tab for you and here you could make your cursor visible or not so you could also make your cursor bigger or smaller we're not gonna do that you're gonna see the click sound effect right over here you're gonna open the drop down menu and for the left click I'm gonna select mouse click and right click I'm gonna select the mouse click as well so you could hear it and erase the volume up because sometimes I raise my voice the sound the background music might overpower it so I raise it up sometimes when I need it I go to the highlight effects and go to magnify and as you can see it's a bit small than what you usually see in my videos so you're gonna open the drop down box again make the size bigger around I'd say 70 to 75 and I'm gonna lower the magnification to a about 1.5 to 1.7 and I soften the edge a bit depending I don't have a specific size for it I just to soften it up a bit so it's not a bit harsh on the edges you could also add your left click effect you could go for rings warp and ripple and the one that i usually use is warp and of course you can make this size bigger or smaller or you could just play around with it find which ones do you like the best which ones works for your tutorials for your videos and those kind of stuff and you could also do a spotlight but i don't suggest that so the next thing that we have is something that i use for sims 4 building videos and sometimes speed arts so when you go to right click clip speed and put 500 you can't do that because you can only enter from 50 to 400 uh, and if you can find it when you go right click clip speed you can also find it here in edit and then you can see clip speed right over here in speed arts it usually takes me one or two hours of recording and that's just the recording and that doesn't include the behind the scenes and the not recorded parts 400% isn't gonna shorten the video and especially when you're really specific into details it's not enough it's not fast enough so even if you silence the you click replace audio with silence it's not gonna work you're gonna you're not gonna reach the 600% so what I do is I go right click and then go separate video and audio and when you're and when it's done I'm just gonna delete this because it's gonna be used as, as well you're just gonna silence it you're gonna go right click in your video again then go to clip speed and now you can raise it to 800% in Sims 4 speed builds I usually I usually go to 700 to 800 percent for speed arts i usually go from 60 to 700 so it pretty much looks like this so next we have zoom and pan and it's in this tab and if, again you can find it it's in down here and more or probably tools zoom and pan so next i'm going to show you guys how i do previews in my wallpaper tutorials so basically it's the zooming is the easy part, you just zoom it in right over here. We're just gonna drag this to extend it, make it slower, make it more dramatic. What I like to do is I zoom it out or I do a pan. And in this case, you wanna, for an example, you wanna pan it to the left. You're just gonna drag this and then you're gonna drag this to extend the period or how long it pans and make it slower and longer so it doesn't look doesn't look and feel like it's rushed say for an example you want to put subtitles in your video not the youtube subtitles like the subtitles in the video itself because i you somehow want to you can go again to more and select captions and you can paste it um so it you can't move it around i'm pretty sure you can and you just have to change the duration and those kind of stuff i actually like this one but i 
don't I currently don't have any use for this probably in video manipulations for an example you just want to edit your audio you don't want anything you just want to cut an audio you want to make it faster you want to change the pitch you can go and add it you can edit it the way you want to but I'm just gonna show you how you can save it using Camtasia you can go to produce and share and we're gonna go down to you're gonna go to add or edit preset and you're gonna go next and you're gonna save it and you're gonna save it as an audio file and not as a video which is kind of cool because I didn't know that before and I was like struggling to edit audios before I had audacity okay so next thing that I'm gonna show you is some editing tricks that uh, that could help you when you're doing the video like video like the video I uploaded which is the Hogwarts Hogwarts founders video so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try the layering effect so we're gonna pick a scene probably this one probably this one too and we want these two scenes to overlap this one and this one so we're gonna put it on top of each other i'm gonna go and select this one go to more and go to visual properties again if you can't find it it will be in here in tools so we're gonna lower the opacity that's kind of cool actually and that's what i do to add more drama if, and say for example you just want it you want the two of them to just be side by side here and you can go click toggle crop mode and when you do this you can crop it i'm not gonna crop this one because it's gonna be useless because it's already underneath so yeah that's how you crop your images okay so the next thing the last thing i'm pretty sure this is the last thing the last thing that i want to show you guys is how you remove the green from the green screen if you're using green screen so again you're gonna select your video then you go to visual properties again and you can go click here click the remove a color and you're gonna go to color click here because sometimes you can't get the green from the palettes that's already available so you're gonna click it and we're gonna raise the tolerance and make sure it's black it goes black And let's try to put a video underneath so we could see and compare okay so this is basically how it looks when you put a green screen on top of another video oh my gosh okay so yeah that's basically it and this video was supposed to be me explaining how i edit my videos in photoshop but i decided that it's not i recorded a 30 minute video and i I was in the middle of editing and I decided that it wasn't a good video to upload because it's pretty much useless so I just did this tips and tricks you can do in Camtasia. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have more questions and I probably do a part 2 if I miss some things and you want me to explain something in Camtasia then go ahead by all means comment down below and I'll try to do them. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Subscribe for more videos every Friday. And I'm uploading this on a Sunday.